So this Kahoot is all about uh, solving linear equations. So I wouldn't just watch this video, I would start off by trying to do the quiz yourself, so just follow the link below. So we're just building up for question one. So the question is, uh, 2x minus 3 equals 10, what is the sensible thing to do first? Now, we need to get to the x on its own. We need to undo everything on the left-hand side to end up with just the x. Now, the temptation is to divide by 2 to start with, but that just gets very complicated. So you're much better off working your way into the x. So just really focus on undoing the minus 3 to start with. How do we undo a minus three? We have to do the opposite operation, which is adding three, so that's our gold answer. Question two, so having done that, so two lots of x equals 13. So what step do we do now? Well, two x means two times x, or x times two. So we need to undo that timesing by two, so we have to divide by two. So we divide both sides by two, so our answer is the green one. So question three, once we've done that, we've got to the point that two x equals 13. Once we've divided by two, which we just decided we needed to do, what's our final answer? Now just be ever so careful here. People get this wrong. It's going to be x equaling 13 to be divided by 2. Now that is 13 over 2. 13 over 2 means 13 divided by 2, so the answer is gold. Do not be tempted to go for 2 over 13 like so many do. So another question from the beginning really. So brand new question, 4x plus 5 equals 12. So the sensible thing to do is to avoid looking at the 4x, undo the plus 5 to start with, so minus 5 from both sides, so green. Now once you've done that, you're now left with 4x equaling 7. So to undo this timesing by 4, we need to divide both sides by 4. So on the right hand side, we're going to have 7 to be divided by 4. So that's the blue answer. So we've just concluded that we needed to divide by 4. So what's our final answer going to look like as a fraction? Well, it's 7 to be divided by 4. That is 7 over 4. So it's our blue answer. Question seven. Now, a bit trickier. So we need to get all our x's onto one side, all our normal numbers onto the other. So you could start with the normal numbers, but I like to start with the x's. So we need to make a decision to get all the x's onto one side. So we could take away seven x from both sides, that would be fine. But you're then going to be going into minuses, which is just tricky, unnecessarily tricky. So decide to move the smaller number of x's. So that's obviously the 3x. So how do we undo 3, the 3x the plus 2, or if you like, 2 plus 3x? How do we undo this plus 3x? Well, we have to minus 3x from both sides. So that's our blue answer. Now, once we've done that, we've got back to one of these simpler ones like we were looking at earlier on. So 4x minus 3 equaling 2. The next thing to do, leave the 4 alone to start with. Work your way into the x. So focus on undoing the minus 3. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. So that's the green answer. So having done that, we're left with 4x equaling 5. We have to undo the timesing by 4 by dividing by 4. So it's going to be 5 divided by 4, which is our blue answer. Question 10. So what is the sensible thing to do first? So a good starting point is to expand the brackets, multiply out to get rid of the, uh, the brackets. So... Um, so basically multiply out the brackets uh, is the best thing to do to start with or the sensible thing to do first. So that's our gold answer. So
So we know we've got to multiply out the brackets. We just said that in question 10. So what do we get when we multiply out the brackets? Now be ever so careful, there's a double claw here. You're going to do 3 times 2x to start with, and then secondly, 3 times the plus 4. Now 3 times 2x is 6x, 3 times plus 4 is plus 12, so we're going to get 6x plus 12 equaling 8. That's our green answer. So, once we've done that, we've got to this point here. So again, on the left-hand side, we're working our way towards the x, which is within the 6x. So leave the 6x alone to start with. We need to undo the plus 12, so we're going to minus 12 from both sides. So, having done that, just one step to go. We need to undo the times in by 6, so we're going to get x equaling minus 4 over 6. Now that can be simplified because both top and bottom are even, so minus 4 over 6 is the same thing as minus 2 over 3, so that's our blue answer.